and it's still raining and all the zombies are trying to get me. Uh, this is Ex Nihilo on the Hardcore Challenge map. And we are going to get our third ingot today, aren't we? We have two ingots, we need one more and we can create a bucket. So we can move our water sources and make a uh, a farm. So we can gather some decent food like melons, kishol seeds, stuff. Let's put that away before we die though. Um, we got some string last time, so should be able to get some wool. And now if I get some more wood from this fine oak tree, we will be able to skip these horrible nights by sleeping in our very own bed. Which will make <laughs> everything a little bit more safe, I think. Okay, some skeletons roaming around. Do we still have some food? No, we don't have some food. Some creepers. Do want some open flesh though. Uh, uh, there we go. That's a lot better. Should be able to dry this meat. Oh, there we go. Three of those. Three of those. Make a bed. And there we go. Safe and sound. Get some new saplings. Break the old leaves with my crook. And gather some more saplings. There we go. I'm on a roll. Look at how many saplings I got from that. Good. So those creepers are annoying. Go away. Uh. A little bit of gunpowder. Not that that's, that's useful, but... Spider! That's something useful. Walk right across the gap. Walk right in the base, no issues in jumping or anything, and I need a new shovel. Which will make gathering resources easier. And I'm also going to start making stuff for uh, Tinker's Construct, Fort Builder, and we also need a new stencil for this stencil table. Make another one. Where am I gonna put this for now? Our builder stencil table and a few more tree screw, but I'm I'm gonna go get her some dirt. So, let's go to our last trip, and we'll get us some dirt. Be right back. Okay, gathered a bunch of dirt, had another tree crew, so I'm gonna sift through all this dirt, and get my uh, stones, so that maybe we can make some stone tools next. That'd be nice. Or some bone tools, but I haven't seen any skeletons anymore. So, uh, I might need to make it a little darker again. Set up a map trap. We'll, we'll see how it goes. I haven't figured it all out yet. Did I make a hammer last time? I should have. Yeah, I did. There we go. Let's see what we are all getting. I should actually save some bone meal at the start to make my crucible. 
yeah, probably not a bad idea. Since I definitely would like a crucible. Okay. Last piece of dirt. That went pretty fast. More than a stack of stones. Okay, let's see what we can do with these babies. And what do you know? We got some more monster jerky. And we just ate all our monster jerky. Awesome! Everything's gone. Okay, the stencil table. For now, I think we will just make a shovel. Because that's what we definitely want. Um, we want an axe too, probably. But that can still wait. We don't have any sticks left. Okay, I'm gonna start on chopping down these trees and getting my crook back and crooking these trees. <laughs> probably not a word, but you obviously probably guessed what I was talking about. So I'll see you when these trees are. Ooh. Apple oak tree. Well, when these trees are gone. See you in a sec. And our axe has broken, so this is the perfect time. Welcome back, by the way. This is a perfect time to make a Tinker's Construct hatchet. So I need to make some more of. Oh, let's not use that one. Let's use the one we have plenty of. This one. And let's make some more stencils. Blank pattern. Uh, a hatchet. Axe head pattern. But I'm not just going to make a, a axe and a shovel. Um, well, maybe a shovel later, separately. Let's, let me first make the axe head. And then I need... Something else. What, what am I doing? Let's go in here. Uh, I need to make a crafting table. And another of these stencil thingies. Put it on top, and I'll get a tool station. Very nice. Zombies are showing up, so let's use our brand new bed set or bibliocraft updated. Uh, next time. Okay, now we've got patterns and stuff. I want a stick. Give me a stick. We want a mattock, which is a sh let's see. Matic is a versatile farming tool. It's effective on wood, dirt, and plants. So yeah, since what we want to mine is wood, dirt, and plants for the moment, we'll make a matic. Two tools in one. We can start chopping down some more trees. So I'll be back in a bit. Bye. Well, not bye. Just you know, for you it'll be like. Not even a second before you start me again, but for me, ooh, big tree. Anyway, see you in a sec. Look at all my wood, and I haven't even chopped down all these trees. My wood plantation is going great. Almost died chopping down a big tree, so we're gonna have to set up something that makes those things easier to chop down. But. We got plenty of wood, nothing to worry about anymore in that department. If you ever run out of wood, it's gonna be our own fault. Because we, like, die with all the saplings on us, like I'm having now. I don't know, probably somebody is already yelling at the screen. Put those saplings in the chest instead of keep going on, you're almost dead. And they're right, I should go do that. And I put the saplings in the chest. There we go. A 
Et voilà. Ooh, the birch tree crew, the birch tree crew, the birch tree crew. Oh, this is all about shop. Oh shit. There we go, fixed. It works really well under this. You just saw. I have to be careful with uh, digging down. Because there's nothing down there anymore. But that can be solved once we get the water. Bucket. And then everything will go better. It's already going great with all these plants and trees that grew. This is turning out to be an entire episode of me chopping wood. Okay, for now, okay. Uh, so what do we do next? We turn our cobblestone into gravel with the thing machine right here. Hammer. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm beating it with a worm. There we go. I just got these up. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, maybe we should have made a stone one that'll go faster. Let's not forget to pick up all these saplings. No use trying to crook them all anymore. I mean, look how fast this is going. How many saplings I got? Maybe not a birch. Collect a birch since we only have one. I haven't replanted any of these yet. We'll do that next so we can make a uh, more managed tree farm. Plant those though, because you know, I only have two of those. And the the leaves that are in fact with the silkworm don't decay at all, so I can actually just leave them there. And off to sifting the gravel now. Didn't get any for that. Oop. Tin. I think we got some silver too. But I need iron. Lots and lots and lots of iron. What did we get? Three broken iron. Good. Broken copper. Little silver. Tin. Lead. Nickel. Our chest is getting too small. Pumpkin seeds, more cross seeds, lapis, seeds, string, special seeds. Or maybe we can plant these too. Get some, some chocobos later. So, the matic, as you saw, can be used to chop wood. It really digs through dirt really quick, and if you right click it, it's a hoe. There we go. Uh, what next? Oh, we need to get more cobblestone, so we need to get more dirt. So, not going to use these saplings just yet to do that. So, I'm gonna go mine another strip of dirt. Uh, where? Ugh, maybe not. Maybe I'm just going to go to bed. There we go. Good night. Ah, lovely morning. No mobs. And I'm jumping on my... What was that? Melon seed? Yeah, probably. Okay. Which way was our dirt strip? There it is. Let's go into spider mode. And then we can safely get ourselves this dirt. I hope. It's not as I'm standing too far away from it, it just doesn't jump high enough. Yeah, let me just strip this and then I'll go sift it and we'll see what we get. Be back. Okay, last piece of dirt. Let's see what we got. Carrot seeds. I don't think I had those yet. Some more pumpkin seeds. Melon seeds. 
uh, a lot of stones, some more grass seeds. Pretty good. And uh, my matic broke. But I'll show you how to fix these things in a sec. So let's first make some more cobblestone. Like so. Now, if you go to your not part builder, not stencil table, but tool station, you can put that in the right slot there. Put this one over here. And it gets fixed. Just like that. Don't need to craft a new one. Don't need to use three to make a whole new matic. No, I can just use one and keep using it over and over. Saves materials. Okay. What do we want to do with this cobblestone? Oh, I think I want to make a hammer. No. The old one's still there, so I'm just going to turn this into gravel. Suppling. Turn this into gravel, like so. Come on. There we go. So, I'm going to turn this into gravel, sift it, and then again, we'll see what we'll get. Okay, last piece of gravel went through, and what did we get? Lead ore, iron ore, tin ore, silver ore, and some more lapis. That's good, that's actually very good. That means we've got four pieces of broken iron ore, which will turn, of course, into iron ore gravel. Ooh, we got an extra piece of crushed iron ore. Let's turn this into sand. Break it. Ooh, we got another piece of pulverized as well. So, sand. That's the dust. Damn it, I just need to smell it like that. Uh, up. Up. I know, I'm using this to smell stuff. But, nah. Not like I don't have enough wood anymore. Okay, that one's not enough. Probably need two slabs since I need one whole block to do this. And there we have it. This is our third ingot. Let's quickly put that there. Three ingots make one bucket. Great. Let's gather up some more wood and decide on where to build a farm. Okay, so I'm gonna go two from the three from the edge, I think. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that could work. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five. So this is the middle. Uh, one, two. One, two. Still a spider, so it should be fine like that. Oh, I didn't catch the dirt. Okay. Now I'm gonna do something really dangerous, and I am going to jump in the water and try to place some blocks underneath. Up. 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 Okay. Fall back up. Put them there. Don't drown. Okay. That's pretty safe now. Okay, let's let's make our little farm. I want to water it. That's our first water source. And some more water sources. Let's start getting farming. Wait, I made this way too. Did I make it too small? 
think I made it worth a small. Eh, we can always make more. And let's see. I'm gonna plant some carrots here. And let that wheat grow. Get some wheat. Some carrots. Plant some wheat here. Five pieces of wheat. Get potatoes too. Melon seeds, pumpkin seeds, sugar cane. Can put some sugar cane here, here, here. And actually, I can also get it over here since I had four. That's nice to get get started, right? Right? Okay. So we also want a continuous water source, an infinite source. Still got wood. So let's make that over here. Bucket, bucket. There we go. Pushing out over here a bit, but it's definitely infinite. Okay. This is looking good. Now if we get some mobs to spawn, that would be really, really good. What biome is this? Plains, so... We should be able to get some passive mobs to spawn. After a bit. I see the unpassive mobs over there have appeared, so I am going to nap. Okay. These guys don't look happy. For the fact they are burning to death. I am hoping to get a bone from that skeleton over there though. Without him shooting me. They only drop the bones when you actually shoot them. That would be bad. I need some more monster jerky because uh, my hunger is not doing too great. Here we go. Should probably start on making the farm, tree farm, and a house because this won't keep cutting it. And maybe move the water source thingy because, well. Having a pool is nice, but it's kind of in a way here. Mm. But I think I'll leave that for next episode. We got a farm set up. We've got an infinite water source. We've got our magical bucket, which I've already taken across the edge. Okay, I'm going to die. I think I better eat some rotten flesh like this and not get poisoned. My magic. Okay. Next episode, we'll make a more decent tree farm, and we'll start making our house. See you next time.